I'm here at Coromandel Valley Primary School in the Adelaide Hills, which is actually my old primary school. I'm back. No one's here. No one's here. Hey, Mum. Hi, Kate. <laughs> Got some overdue books. This is actually my mum. <laughs> but I'm not here to reminisce about my childhood. I'm here because these kids have something exciting to show me out the back of the school. Should we go have a look? Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> a little while ago, one of these kids thought they saw a native endangered species walking around the Frank Smith wetlands behind Coro Primary. So, science teacher Sarah Todd decided to investigate. We worked together as a team to find a project that we could all work on, something that was local, something that we could connect with, that had a good community feel as well. So we decided to look for bandicoots in Frank Smith. In case you didn't know, this is a bandicoot. There are around 20 species scattered around Australia, but here in Adelaide, there's only one the southern brown bandicoot, and its population is seriously under threat. While there have been a few whispers, no one was really sure if the endangered species lived in the Coromandel Valley area. With her team assembled, Sarah received some funding from Green Adelaide. You guys know the way out of here, right? To get the things she needed to right. find some answers. Connor, what are we looking at? What's this? Um, it's a motion sensor camera we use to look and try to find bandicoots. It like starts recording once there's motion around it and we've used this to pick up some bandicoots on the camera. Now I notice there's a little tea strainer here. Is that so the bandicoot can make a cup of tea when he wants? So basically we hammered this tea strainer down and then filled it with peanut butter. Why peanut butter? Well bandicoots love peanut butter and they're attracted to the smell. Turns out a lot of other animals are attracted to the smell too. But after sorting through a few hundred photos, Sarah found what she was looking for. Super excited, was running around the school, heart rate was probably like 120 beats per minute because I was super excited. So two days we had a yeah a really good clear photo of this bandicoot and confirmation. Bandicoots are nocturnal, meaning they come out around dusk to feed on almost anything. Fruits, seeds, insects, small lizards, and tea strainers lined with peanut butter, apparently. So they like low, dense habitats. So anything that you would find really hard to walk through is really good for bandicoots. It provides protection from predators for them. Dr. Elisa Sparrow is an ecologist, and she says bandicoots do a lot more than eating and looking cute. One bandicoot can dig up to four tonnes of soil a year, which is a huge amount. So all that soil turnover really improves the soil and helps plants grow and um, increases water infiltration. So yeah, they're classified as an ecosystem engineer. So, you guys reckon you found something down here? All right, let's have a look. What have, what have we got? What do we reckon? Well, these like scrapes here look like from bandicoot claws. They would probably be around here because they would drink from this water. Not only do these guys stay on the lookout for bandicoots, they spend a lot of time raising awareness for the endangered species amongst the community. One good reason why we're doing it is because it's a really fun project because we get to share information um, to people who don't know what they are. The inspiration of this is basically knowing that the southern brown bandicoots are endangered in this area and that they're the last species of bandicoots left in Adelaide. I enjoy seeing the kids really enjoying the environment as well and being really passionate about making a change. We need to protect them to make sure they stay here and not become extinct. 